This is a monologue. This guy by a guy named Bill about 500 years ago. And uh, okay. it's from the from the it's from a uh, from Act Three, Chapter One of the Tragedy of Hamlet, uh, Prince of Denmark. To be or not to be, that's the question. With it is no good in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take up arms against the sea of troubles, and by opposing in them is the consummation devoutly to be wished. To die! To sleep! No more. By your sleep we say to end the heartache and a thousand natural shocks that flush his air to is the consummation devoutly to be wished. To die, to sleep, to sleep perchance to dream, aye, there's the rub. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come when we shuffle off this mortal coil must give us pause. There the respect that makes calamity of such long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time the oppressor's wrong, the proud man's constantly, the pangs of despised love, the law's delay, and the insolence of office when he himself but his quietest make. Would the bear bite you? Who would, who would Farrell's bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life but that the dread of something after death, that undiscovered country from whose born no traveler returns, puzzles the will and makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to those we know not of. Thus, conscience does make cowards of us all. And thus, the native view of resolution is sickly over with a pale cast of thought and enterprises of great pith and moment with this regard their currents turn awry and lose the name of action. Softly now, that fair Ophelia, nymph, in that rises, be all my sins remember. And then I get off stage. Thank <laughs> you.